Thank you, Will. Coming up, we have two great new wines on the table for tasting. In the studio tonight, we welcome Master Chef Tony Astle from Antoine's Restaurant in Parnell. And don't forget, we will have a romantic night for two at Antoine's to give away. Tony Astle, good to see you again. Always good to be here. Yeah, Master Chef. Oh, apparently. Antoine's <laughs> wonderful restaurant in Parnell. Well, we've been there a while, haven't we? Yes, really? you have. This goes on and on and on, but like the beat, doesn't it? This goes on and on and on. <laughs> now, and some good news for a viewer out there, because tonight we're going to tell that viewer that he has won a wonderful meal at Antoine's restaurant. And he had the correct answer. He told us that you'd been in business for 37, 37 years. The whole 37. Yeah. Huh? Actually, we're getting in cl very close to... A well, it is our birthday very, very shortly, so it'll yeah. be into our 38th shortly, so it's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. His name was Peter May. There was no mention of a partner, but it was just Peter May. He said 37 years. So, Peter, contact me, or I can contact you, and you you can have a wonderful night at uh, Antoine's. And, and Tony will look after you. And it is for two, of course, mm. isn't it? Oh, yes, yes, Fantastic. yes. Fantastic. We'll idea. be listening towards the end, and we'll, we'll announce uh, another competition. Yeah. Tony, I'm looking down the table, and I can see two beautiful wines on the table, Tony. Uh, I'm dying to try both of them, so uh, tell us a little bit about them. Well, I thought we'd go from one end of the country to the other. So we've <laughs> got, we've got um, Trinity Hill, which is Hawke's Bay, it's good yeah. with gravel. And we've got Desert Heart, which is from central Otago. Wow. So we're going, wait, and right this is there. a Pinot Noir. So we thought, dum, dum. And, <laughs> and I tell you, they're totally different wines. What's first, Tony? What's first? Well, let's try the Trinity Hill. The Trinity Hill. I mean, mm. it's... Wonderful label too, I must yeah. say. It sort of fits perfectly with me. Really, when I think about it. <laughs> John Hancock hasn't he done a wonderful oh, thing for the industry? He's hasn't he? such a yeah. character. Oh, too, I like him he? too. He's, he's a, a wonderful good guy. man. Now the colour looks fantastic. On yes, this, yes. Look at. Um, I'll uh, just hold it up to the. Um, hold it up to the camera. You can have a look at the colour. Beautiful, isn't it? This is it's absolutely wonderful. The, and you just put your nose. What in are we going to get? Let's look. And it's unbelievable. Oh. It's, you know, there's pineapple, there's grapefruit, there's sort of, you know, it's definitely, definitely, oh, maybe pear. I mean, it's just Gimlet Gravel, so it's Gimlet in Hawke's gravel. Bay. Yeah. And it's, um, it's been in oak for 12 months in mm. French barrels. And you must remember, do not over-chill these wines. Because that's just been, you know, oh. isn't that great? And it's got that wonderful back taste to it. And it's just I mean, you've got pineapple, you've got pear, you've got... A he must be so proud when he tastes yeah. this. He must think, wow, we've... He also does some very upmarket ones like mm. homage, which mm. are hugely expensive. But I mean, this one here was run about 35 to $40, which mm. isn't a bad price because it's, it's just not run of the mill. Yeah. I mean, it's 14% alcohol. It's, um, but I've been playing around with it and I just played, yeah. did a dish last night with some or two dishes. One was scallops. Yeah. And they were just simply sautéed and um, with a little bit of garlic. And this just was such a good match yeah. with it because the sweetness of the scallops. Mm. And then I played around with some turbot, which is a fish that New Zealand doesn't yeah. see a lot of, and it's from the West Coast. And in England, it's probably the dearest fish you can buy. In New Zealand, is actually mm. still re still reasonably priced for until mm. we've talked about it, of course. And, yeah, you know, yeah. It's going to go mad now. <laughs> but I, it's a flat fish, and I've just rolled it, and I poached it in a little bit of this with some mm. stock and some onions and yeah. mushrooms. And then I just thickened it with some vermagna, and I tell you, and then cream, and even the cream, which cream is a bit of a no-no with wine, yeah, yeah. but when... When you actually drank this with that turbot and that yeah. the citrus flavours, it just cut right through it. It was, oh. it was like it was heaven. It was unbelievable. Oh, oh it is. So beautiful. John Hancock should be very John, proud of this. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Oh, superb, isn't it? It's is good wine, isn't it? Mm. Well, let's go down to the bottom of the South Island now. Let's have a look at our second wine for the night. Now, this is actually I'm I love this wine because mm. it's uh, it's taken a while for people to get get used to it. It's in from Felton Road. Well, Felton mm. Road is very famous for, yeah. for a wine. But this is but made where, in where is Felton Road? Felton Road, which is in Bannockburn, which is oh, down yeah, in uh, yeah. Central Otago, and um, Denny and Jane, these ladies own this place, and they've done such a fantastic job. Two lady owners it's of it's unbelievable, been... isn't it? Fantastic, well, isn't that great, this yeah. is so good. Yeah, and see, people have to remember I do like women see just what I don't, <laughs> don't imply don't employ them but they make damn good wine I'm to you so you know some things are you know yeah, some the, things are things are changing yeah <laughs> things are changing but this wine it's it's just so wonderful it's um it's from Bannockburn mm -hmm. now Jancis Robson who is um who's a master of wine in Britain 
Mm-hmm. Now, she has given this huge accolades, which is wow. pretty fantastic, really. So, uh, it's you know, there's another woman, Master mm. of Wine, Jessica Yes, Robinson. exactly. And um, she gave this, and she, she just gave it such great praise, which mm. I thought was fantastic coming from someone you know that far away mm. and someone that important. So oh, it's got those sort of yeah. unctuous... Um, I know people sort of say, you know, bad feet, bad yeah. socks, mushrooms, <laughs> forest floor. Yeah, yeah. You know, that is actually yeah. what a Pinot Noir yeah. should taste yes, like, exactly. you know, and it, and it should smell like that. And mm. then you get it into your mouth. Just look, it's shooting around. It's going round and round and round. And you can suddenly taste all those, you know, you can, it's sort of blackberries, mm. plums, yeah. you know, and it's, a, can you taste the forest oh, floor? No. I mean, it's got that. People might, they do say to me, um, oh, it seems that you like everything, Jared, but no, I mean, these are beautiful wines. I mean, you only bring in the best, don't you? I well, mean, look, I'm uh, not going to bring in stuff exactly, that I don't yeah. like. So I mean, they so, are great. And uh, these people deserve, mm. they make other great wines too, mm. like Pinot Gris and Chardonnays, but they, yeah. this here is my favourite from, they also make, this is the more mm. upmarket one, which is yeah. about $45, but they do make another one, which is actually more accessible price-wise. Yeah. Yes, okay. But this here, I mean... Uh, Oh. This one, yesterday I did a, a big lunch, um, luncheon for a company that's been around for 25 years and they, because we've been around mm. so long they picked on <laughs> us. So, um, and I actually put this with um, some, uh, what didn't actually use this, but I was playing around with this one and I used it with a confit of duck mm. and um, black currants. And that just the sweetness and sourness of the black currants yes, with this, went, yeah, and the duck, uh, the sweetness of the duck, and of course mm. the confit of duck was cooked in its own fat for about yeah. seven hours, so it just simmered. <laughs> so it fell off the bone, yeah. and this, I mean, the marriage with that, once again it was a marriage, marriage I mean, it was, just, it was yeah. just smoothness and mm. oh, it was velvety. And Tony, you, that, it's a wonder you're not out here with all this beautiful food you're talking I know, about. Purge, purge, <laughs> no purging. <laughs> <laughs> but you just have another taste. Oh, of this. I mean, it, it's yeah. unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, Denny and Jane, a you know Desert what? Heart, congratulations. Wonderful wine. But women are back in favour. <laughs> it's fantastic. You can come in from the cold. <laughs> they now. can, they can, they can. Even in my book, I can. <laughs> now, Tony, of course, uh, tonight we've had uh, two beautiful wines, but let's uh, look at another offer for. Two couples, oh, well, a couple, I should say, two people, You're a couple. the whole restaurant out, if you're not careful. <laughs> to come along and enjoy your hospitality, have a wonderful meal on Antoine's. Uh, let's have a little talk about Antoine's, and we'll ask a very, very simple question. Uh, Antoine's been there for 37 years. That was last month's question, wasn't it? It and, was, um, indeed. You arrived there, and you had no idea how successful you were going to be. Well, you just opened it up one day and said, let's hope for the best. Well, we opened it, and our accountant said to us, you know, you're never going to survive this because your main course is the $5.95. And I said, <laughs> yeah, whatever, because everyone else's were about $2.95. Yeah, yeah. However, you couldn't get in for six months. It happens, you know. Yeah, and that, yeah. It was just... With the right place at the right and time. And we're still it? there, and it keeps yeah. going. I mean, we have our ups and downs yeah. like everybody does, but yeah. we're there, and we're planning on being there for a long time. Yeah. Yes, I can see another 20, 30 years with Tony Ashton. Yeah, well, I'll be in the Zimmer frame, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Tony, what's the address to make sure that everybody, if they want to come along and... Um, okay. 333 Parnell yeah. Road. Yeah, and uh, if they want to give you a call and book in... The phone in. number is 0937 98 756. Wonderful. So all we need now is a very simple question. We asked, how long has uh, the restaurant been there? What about how old is Tony Astle? Now, that would be an interesting one, <laughs> <won't> <laughs> Should we do that? <laughs> they can have a guess at it, shall they? <laughs> Anywhere between 30 and 100, okay? <laughs> how, how old I'd like to be or how, like, how, how old I am? Yeah, let's do something silly. Uh, uh, yeah, just put on, just send the email to Jared at the Beat Goes On. And, and in it the must subject go to Jared at the Beat, yeah, must, beat Goes yeah, On. Yeah, Jared at the Beat Goes On. And just put a guess of Tony's age. We'll have a laugh next time. We It'll will indeed. From 30 to 103. <laughs> and... Um, and then we'll pull out, we'll put all the emails into a big bowl and we'll pull one out and uh, they can have a wonderful meal at Antoine's. Wonderful. We'll look forward to it. And some lovely after. wine, of course. We won't, we won't forget some wine. Tony? I like this too. Don't you oh, like this? Beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you in one month's time.